Hello guys and welcome to another video. This time we are going to talk about guild siege defenses. The siege battle actually has a lot of new stuff going for it. So guys, you should understand how defenses work in order to get ready for further fights. You may have been losing some fights or, or maybe placing your defenses wrong. So guys, I will try to explain a very 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 brief explanation about some defenses that can work, how they work and some key units that you should consider when building your defenses and your offenses for your siege. So guys, we will start by showing you my three defenses currently. This one is in the headquarters. It's Garo, Raccoony and Rina. Okay, this defense Actually, what it does is stall the opponent. The opponent will try to kill Garo. If the opponent doesn't have a multi-hit monster, then he will not be able to kill Garo. This is a 4-star defense. So he will, sh so you will have to pick from his 4-star pool in order to kill this defense. This defense is currently in our headquarters and it will be used when we take a tower. When we take a 4-star tower, this defense will not be one of be the one we pick for the first ones because this is not very very powerful. I am not the most powerful player in my guild. I am not even close to that. So, but this defense can be useful anyway. Since Garo has speed lead, Raccoony has that cleanse, that innate cleanse that will clean the uh, the, the monster with the lowest health and he will clean too harmful effects from that monster and he will heal it and he will also buff attack speed to the monster with the lowest attack bar at the time and since, Ga and since Garo will be the one moving first because he is faster than Raccoony then Raccoony will move and will give attack bar to Garo and since Garo scales from attack speed he will hit quite hard so guys this is a defense that and Rina is there to stall Okay, because if you want to kill Rina, you will most likely have to bring a powerful wind nuker. You may bring a water nuker too, so that you may try to kill Garo. And if the water nuker is unviolent and or a multi-hit, not for not for them, well, you may kill Garo. But this defense may may make things harder for you if you are already out of half of your monsters. So guys, think about it. Think about facing this defense with your 4-star monsters after you have fought, after you have used 15 of your monsters. <coughs> it will be tough because the defense has a healer. So for late battle defenses, I mean, I mean by late battle, I mean on the second half after armistice or maybe, maybe in the first half after your opponent has used used lots of his attacks well things get harder and you will most likely need a healer on every of your defenses now this one is my nat 5 defense and this defense is okay it's standard it's in one of our, our non-attacked towers because if they if the opponent is going for tower 6 means that they already went through some of our towers so this defense is not great, however the monsters are very well run and this is a very good defense for the second half. As I told you, since Theomars will never be one shot and my monkey has a lot, a lot of defense and hit points with some good crit rate and crit damage, <coughs> then this defense will make things very hard for someone that doesn't have a copper, doesn't have a bulldozer because they have already used that, okay, so they cannot face this it will be very hard with the monsters they have left and this defense has a lot of RNG going for it because they are all violent runes and two of these monsters armor break with their second skill and the monkey stuns and Chasun heals and buffs the attack so it's a very good defense for the later part of the of the battle and this, one's, this one is my star defense this one is the defense that we have on, our, on one of our front 4 star monster towers this defense has it all Okay, if you want to beat this defense, you will have to waste your cover team. You will have to use your cover bulldozer, and you may even not be able to clear this. You will have to cover the Icarus, and you will have to bulldozer the Kamun. 
However, however, my beta here is very fast. Beta here is 241 speed on violent runes and wheel runes. So, with a 24% speed lead from Camun, she may cut, not cut in between, she may move faster than your immensity. So if your immensity is lower than my beta with her attack speed leader, then she will buff anti-crit. And if copper doesn't crit, he will not be able to kill. Neither will Dozer. And one shot from my Icarus will hit for, well, she has over 33k, 34k HP, but my tower, my HP tower is maxed, and I have some flags for HP on Guild Wars 2. So, so, this Icarus will be hitting for 18 to 19k during Guild Wars. That is enough to kill any bulldozer and any copper. Okay, so with one monster less and with Icarus recovering fi that 50% that damage, she will be on full health again. So, this team will, will end up killing your copper bulldozer if it catches you by surprise. This team has been given me about 8 successful defenses every guild war. Between 5 and 8 successful defenses every guild war. And if you have to face this team in the second half, then you will most likely be out of action to face it. Because guys, you can try to Lucian this, but your Lucian has to hit more than 34k to kill Icarus, and has to kill to hit more than 34k to hit beta actually not 34 they may be on 39k because of the flags and towers that is 13k per card and then there is Kamun Kamun is a fire monster with over 42k HP so guys it will be very hard for you to Lucian this team this defense is great it's great and well, they are Beta and Icarus are on violent runes. So that means they can proc and proc and proc and Icarus has a heal in her second skill. Beta has a revive. So Beta may revive Icarus and if you don't have enough firepower to kill Icarus back. And if Kamun goes after Beta revive Icarus, Kamun will most likely give a shield to Icarus. So you will not be able to kill her. So that is why this defense is very good. This defense can, can be mimicked by replacing Beta for a Chasun. And if your Chasun is on Nemesis runes, all the better. Okay? And then if you don't if you don't have Icarus, of course, you can replace you can re replace Beta for Chasun. And you can replace Icarus for any four-star damage dealer. And there is one monster that is very good for this, which is Trevor. Trevor even though he's a fire monster and you can use a, a water monster to tank him, when you lower the health of Trevor, if you were not able to kill him, then he will go back up because most Trevors are on Vampire. And a Trevor on Vampire can hit like crazy. And he self bats attack. Okay, so this team will be great. Another team, another, another monster that you can use with this is Arena. Rina with the shield from Camun, with her shield, and with the monster that is attacking, well, Rina will be healing while your third monster, which can be a Trevor, which can be any other monster that deals damage, uh, and I recommend a tanky monster for dealing damage, then guys, it will be very hard to kill, and you have to think about it in the second round, after the opponent has spent their best monsters trying to kill you. Okay, because even if the, the opponent kills you in the first run, then you will have you have to make sure to make them spend their copper team, to make their, their spend their Lucian team, their best Lucian, their best copper. Okay, their best AOs, Guild War offenses. Sorry, their best offenses have to be spent on killing your team, and that will give you an advantage for when you place back this defense, because if the opponent takes your tower. After one hour, you take it back, and you place your same defense. Then how is he going to hit it again? Because they are already spent their best monsters. You follow me? You are siege has lots of strategies, but you have to think it further. 
okay? Don't overextend. Don't place more defenses than you can place solid defenses. You, you know what I mean? Don't take more towers than you can defend. You see, I have only three defenses. And I have a pool of over 60 six star monsters. And I have, I am using only nine. Okay, because every defense I have has a purpose. You don't have to throw in defenses just for the sake of throwing defenses. Because a bad defense is bad for you. If the opponent doesn't have to weight their best monsters, doesn't have a chance to lose against your defense, then it's a waste. You're giving them three points. You take a tower, then you put very, very, very weak defenses there, then you're giving them points. Okay? You follow me? You have to you have to rethink your strategies your strategies here. Okay, and well now let's talk about offenses when facing some defenses. I want to show you guys this screenshot from my left guild war. You see this one? You see this defense? You see how this is? There is there are three OP monsters. They have one monster that provides endless immunity, which is the water horse. They have Camilla, a tank that deals damage, that can be on destroy. And they have the, the Wind Monkey, a monster that counterattacks every time you attack his friends. You see? This is a powerful defense. But well, only decent. This defense can be 2v3. I hit the defense with Rina. And then I use Lagmaron to kill each monster one by one. Why? Well, you have to think about the elements you place. Rina can solo tank D3 monsters. And if I put if I put a wind monster by her side, then each of those three monsters will keep on attacking Rina. And none of those three monsters can break through Rina's shield. Okay, even if the monkey armor breaks Rina, they may break their shi her shield, but they will have to crit, and they will create a new shield, and they will have to break that shield again, but the, f the unicorn doesn't have the firepower to break a shield, even on armor break. And Camilla may have that power, but she will crit, and she will create another shield. And then Rina will heal herself, and things will start over again. And you have a monster, like Lagmaron, in my case, killing you one after the other. I went for the monkey first, then I went for the horse, and then I went for Camilla. And she eventually died. And as I used Lagmaron, I could have used any monster. I could have even used Fugo, for example. A monster that I don't need to spend anything on. A monster that I use for Necro, which has no speed at all. Okay? A monster that I will not use to clear another defense. Guys, think when you place a defense. This guy is giving away points. Okay, you may say, well, how many Rinas do you have? How many Rinas do I have? Okay, Rina is a 3 star monster. You usually build 2 Rinas for your arena defense on rush hour or many many players have already built two arenas because they used to use them on rush hour because they are a stall defense and you may be even build two or three arenas only for siege wars because i can't express how many players use defenses like this use defenses of full water elements defenses of full wind elements they use Lots of single element, element defenses, or they combine wind and water. If you are going to combine wind and water, make sure you have a random, a randomness. A guy that, that plays with <coughs> that plays with RNG, but on on every monster on the opponent. For example, Orion. Orion is a water monster that can defense break any of the monsters on your opponent team. And if Orion armor breaks the wind monster that I bring with Rina, then everyone will gang up on the wind monster and they will kill him. That will be very effective. If the wind unicorn wasn't there and there was an Orion, then this defense will be better. 
if if Camila wasn't there and there wasn't Orion, the defense would be better. Even if it was a single element defense without the monkey, it would be better. <coughs> you follow me? If you have an, an AOE armor breaker like Galleon, for example, if you place a Galleon, then you have a chance for your monsters to go to the other monsters. And then you can't 2v3 this. You will have to make the opponent wait 3 monsters to kill your defense. And in the end, that is what you need. You have to spend, you have to make your opponent spend a lot of, the, of his monsters. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this. We will, talk, we will talk more about this later. And guys, I will see you in the next one. Bye.